Hey, good morning. Uh, this seems to be a Christmas Eve Eve. There's a lot of people who are getting out of town and a lot of people who are so, uh, you know, getting ready for the new year, all the other stuff. So safe travels. Hope everybody's healthy. Hope everybody is doing great. Um, enjoy your families. Enjoy your time with them. So this is the time of year where usually people kind of reflect on, hey, what's what's happened in 2021 and what's happened in the previous years. Uh, but especially this year going into the next year, you know, um, what do you really focus on? What can you improve upon? Because nothing ever stays the same. If you think it does, if you, if you have that mindset, things are, hey, I've got here and that's it, let's put it on cruise control, you automatically immediately start moving backwards. So it's very important. This is kind of the, the time frame. actually it should be done beforehand, is really start planning out uh, different systems and uh, different things to do uh, for, for the next year. Hey, Andy. Um, you know, basically what can you do to grow and keep on expanding? Uh, not just say, Hey, you know, it's more numbers. Hey, it's more closings, more families we help. Yeah, that's great. But also what are you doing? You know, as far as, you know, improving yourself, as far as knowledge, as far as setting the calendar, blocking out time, growing the, the, the right way, uh, finding the right people, uh, pouring into your people more, uh, you know, life gets busy and so forth. So I'm just talking about from a business perspective right now, whether you're working with somebody, whether you're commissioned, whether in real estate, mortgage, whatever it may be, what are you doing to improve yourself? Are you already putting that stuff on a calendar? You know, a lot of the stuff should have been on a calendar already. Okay. So don't be one of these people and say, Hey, you know, I'm going to start doing this. And then after two weeks in January, it's, it, it's going to be gone. Uh, that's, you know, the best analogy, you know, for that is when people decide, Hey, I'm going to go start working out now. And then all of a sudden, you know, two weeks into it, three weeks into it, it's gone. You know, once February comes, it's, it's over with. But if you really want to keep on growing, um, you know, in business, you have to keep on learning. You have to keep on learning systems. You have to learn on, you know, the right people to bring in because there's only so much you can do, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're in St. Thomas, Bill. So Bill's enjoying it. Bill's in, enjoying his week here. So, I mean, what can you do to, to improve your systems? What can you do to leverage um, you know, so you can, you know, constantly keep on growing the right way, not just bringing bodies on and say, okay, yeah, you know, we, we hired five people on this. No, don't, I mean, find the right people. What we look for criteria is hungry, humble, and smart. Okay. Hungry. Are they obviously hungry? Are they willing to work hard, uh, dig through stuff, uh, be proactive, not just sit there and wait for things to be told to them, be proactive about certain things. Um, humble, being coachable. Don't don't be one of these people. Well, I know, I know, I know, I know, and then you don't do anything, okay? Um, or you do it wrong. The other thing is uh, being smart with people. Are you smart with people? Are you basically not just smart, but smart with people with, with circumstances? When things happen, how do you handle that? How do you approach it? Does it require a, a text? Does it require a phone call? Does it require an email? How you communicate is very, very important, especially since we're so moving so fast with technology and so forth. You gotta understand the circumstance and the situation. If you don't, um, then basically what could happen is, is you know, somebody not get it um, or not understand it and, and really um, you know, approach it the, the, the wrong way on, you know, on that circumstance. So being smart in circumstances, that last part takes time, okay? Um, sometimes, you know, if somebody's not, you know, in the business yet and they're brand new, sometimes not understanding that that's going to take experience. Okay. But you got to be hungry and you got to be humble. If you don't have those two things, it's just not going to work. So hopefully this helps somebody uh, get motivated, but not only motivation, but put some discipline in because motivation means crap without discipline. So hopefully this makes sense. Uh, if you got any questions, comment down below. Um, shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. I wish you and your families a very happy uh, Christmas, Merry Christmas, and a happy new year. Uh, stay safe, travel well, and uh, enjoy the memories. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.